There's two methods you can use to texture a weapon model, using textures and using materials. Using textures is more performance friendly, takes less time to import to Unity, but requires more manual work in Blender. Materials, meanwhile, can be more performance intensive, but requires minimal setup in Blender and Unity. When I use textures for my weapon models, I'm referring to using a color palette. Here is Infensia's color palette, which I use most of the time. It offers vast swaths of color, and if I want to, I can use the gradient effect to make the fake shadows. You can find a copy of the palette I use in the description. In the Materials tab, create a new material. Make sure Use Nodes is enabled. In the Base Color parameter, click the yellow circle icon and select Image Texture. Click the Folder icon and browse the file directory. Select your palette texture you'll be using. Press A to select all other models. Click the drop down arrow and choose Copy Material to select it to apply the palette to all other models. Now switch to the UV Editing tab. Here is where you will assign the colors of the model. Go to your viewport shading settings in the upper right corner and change the color to texture. The viewport window on the right should now display the current texture of the weapon. You may need to UV unwrap your model before you can texture it. In edit mode, select all faces with A, then press U, and choose UV Unwrap. Only select the faces you want to be the same color. In the left window, press A to select everything, and scale with S to 0. Now press G to move the selected group over the color you want them to use. If you want to quickly select faces of the model that share connected vertices, press L. Repeat this process for every part of the model. There will be a more in-depth video tutorial in the description. Using materials to color your model is simpler than using textures, but can be more performance intensive depending on how many materials you use. More than 5 materials on one model is a relatively high amount. Using materials, however, does let you adjust the reflectiveness and metallic appearance of each material individually, unlike using a single texture. Start by creating a new material and naming it. Disable the Use Notes option if that's on, and change the color by changing the base color. You can adjust the metallic, specular, and roughness in Blender, but that won't carry over into Unity, and you'll need to redo it. To make your model use the material you've made, go into Edit Mode and select all the faces you want to be the same material, and press the Assign button. Here, I want the gun's bolt to be a different color, so I'm making a new material, and removing the black metal material from the bolt's material list. You can use more than one material on a single model. Here, I'm making the screws of the gun use the same silver material as the bolt. Press the plus symbol to add a new material. Hover the mouse over the screws and press L to select the screws. Then, select the silver material and press the sign button. 